Hello everyone and welcome back to Tidal Ecology and oh dear. Um, that's kind of concerning. I see a lot of alerts. We've earned 33 though, which is good. A bobcat population. Okay, there's five juveniles. Let's see. Jackrabbits are starving. The jackrabbits are starving. The coyotes I think are still okay though, which is good. So there's mule deer. Okay, what has happened? Holy cow. Yeah, no wonder. Okay, the coyotes are still doing all right. Are these... Wow, that is a lot of carcasses. The coyotes are doing just fine. Um, between the mule deer and... Oh, they're running out of food too. Between the mule deer and these jackrabbits, we've had some major problems. Okay. What actually happened just now? The bobcats have a low population. Okay, we've got to get some of this grass in. I think it might just get eaten though. We might just kind of have to let the ecosystem again sort of die off in some places. It's very hard to balance. This, this is a lot harder than you would imagine it would be. Um, yeah. <laughs> So we may just have to do our best to balance it here and see what happens. So I think what I might do, the mule deer have been dying off as well. I may put in, hmm, the trouble is if the prey all die, then the predators will all, will all die, but it's very hard to sta get everything stable. And let's see. So over here, there's almost no. Okay, what will bobcats eat? Let's let's um let's go to our uh, biodex. What will a bobcat eat? They will eat small mammals, fish, reptiles, and birds, as well as larger prey like juvenile deer. Will they eat? The collared peccary. Um, large carnivores. Hmm, I don't know. I don't think so. I think the coyotes would eat them. But I don't think the bobcats would. So let's add in... Oops, we gotta go this way. Let's add in some jackrabbits again. Just a few. Maybe three populations. And we don't have enough for that. I'm going to speed up the time as well, because we normally do that. The Biodome HP is at 99%, which is good. Let's see. Let's place them there. And that will hopefully help. And then we're going to... How many rap jackrabbits are here? There's only one. There's only one. Only six. Four. Three. So there's not a lot. I don't think it's all going to get eaten. Let's put in some more of those. Some more of the grass and such. Oops, can we turn this so that I can actually see what I'm doing? Yes. There we go. So we'll put in. I'm putting in a lot of this low-lying grass. And then we'll also put in some of the, uh, the sagebrush here in a bit. But we want to have this area mostly covered. So I think we might have this area more stable. I don't know though, we'll probably have to add more populations in order to keep the coyotes stable. So large carnivores, that would be where having peccary would be good. Why is, do they already eat this whole thing? It looks like it, they already ate some of that grass. Maybe that grass was there before. So possibly that would be, I think we're gonna go ahead and unlock the um the peccary the collared peccary so let's come up here it's prong for an antelope but then there's the collared peccary so a lot of you guys are saying you need several populations of stable mule deer to be able to get the cougar so we're not going to mess with that yet but we're going to get this collared peccary and hopefully because I've, it said large carnivores and coyotes are counted as large carnivores it will uh, let us um it, w it will let them eat them and possibly give them a little bit more of a stable population, hopefully. 
That's, that's what I'm hoping will happen at least. We'll see. It's very hard to balance, but I think I'm slowly getting the hang of things. Uh, it just takes a little bit to get used to everything. Here we go. Oops. Alright, let's see. Let's see how many more of these. Oops, not quite yet. There we go. We should also expand at some point here as well. Because that would be a good thing. And there are fish. We can replenish the fish populations too, which is kind of good. I wonder if there's any way of getting them back if they completely go away. That might be good to know. I wonder what's actually eating them. Yep, I'm not surprised. I wonder what actually is eating them. Is that a baby coyote down there? That is. That is a baby coyote. Aw, so cute. But very, very ravenous. Oh, is he going to go kill that bunny? That jackrabbit? No, he's running right past him. Where is he off to? Where is he off to? How long until he grows up to? Ooh, I want to see the coyote, not the grass he's in. Here. Uh, 14 weeks until maturity. Okay. So here we go. Oops. There. Wait, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Let's put some more of these guys in. We can zoom out. We have three notifications. Yeah, the jackrabbits are having a hard time. The mule deer. Uh oh, we must have lost another mule deer. They're having trouble finding enough to eat, I expect. So, let's see. I think we'd probably need some sort of tree for that to be possible, for them to be able to do better here. I thought the coyotes would eat them and keep the population in check, but evidently not. So that is where uh, we have a problem. Let's see. Oh man, look at him run to eat. They're all running over here to eat. Oh man. They probably did contribute to the problem. But we will have to see. Hopefully they'll survive. I want to look though at... Okay, yep, yeah, another group of jackrabbits has a low population. Is that maybe the one over here, actually? Oh, I think it might be the one over here. No, it's not. Oh, this one, yes, oh my goodness. Already they have low population. That's not so good. They just have to be able to make it until they can breed. That's why they have so many babies at once, is because they get preyed on so fast that they, they have to in order for their species to be able to survive. So let's put some of these guys in. If we have a large territory, I'm going to stick them kind of over here where we have a lot of um, jackrabbit territories that are kind of on their way out. And hopefully that will help with the coyote population. Let's see. And I think these guys there eat tough, but they aren't tough. Because these guys can't eat tough life forms. So these guys look a little bit more along the lines of something that a coyote could legitimately take out. Uh, that is a baby. Uh, and there is an adult. Okay. Is that... Was that a dead bobcat? That's a dead bobcat. I didn't know the bobcats came all the way over here. But yeah, look at the size comparison. These guys look like something the coyotes could actually take out. So that is a good thing. Hopefully that will help balance it because they'll be a little bit larger than the jackrabbits. The coyotes have to eat absolutely tons of jackrabbits, and so we have to put in tons of jackrabbits, and it's just not working. So let's see. I think we're slowly getting things more stable. Over here, at least, everything is not dead, uh, but we do have to keep putting in jackrabbit populations. Do all of them have low population? Um, we have only one juvenile in the bobcat territory. Oh no, that's not good. And then this one has two plus, a, uh, plus an extra juvenile. And then this one has five juveniles and one adult. Yep, yeah, there's a lot of jackrabbits with low population. 
And let's see, are these guys, how are these guys all doing? Hmm. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Let's see. Ooh. Here, so here are some of our new collared peccaries. They're pretty cool looking, actually. They really are pretty cool looking. Oh, low population again. That's not good. Yeah, that can be a real issue. <laughs> um, definitely can be a real issue. So let's see. Let's fly over here. So far, everything seems to be alright-ish. I eventually do want to unlock the rest of this biodome, too, so that we have the whole area that we can work with. Because as of right now, this whole area is uh, completely locked still. Let's add some more of this sagebrush, too. Oh, more monthly income. So it takes about five minutes for a month to pass in this one. You have it fast-forwarded, I believe. Um, that's what it looks like, at least. And I think... How much do we need to expand again? We need 200! Good gracious, no, we don't have that much. Alright. So that's going to be a ways off yet. Oops. A group of bobcats is starving. Is that which group? These guys? Yes. There's only one left. I don't even know where he is. He may have gotten himself stranded somewhere. Uh, oh, he's right there. Is that him? Nope, that's a different one. Another group of jackrabbits died. There's a lot of deaths sometimes. Um, Is that... That's a dead jackrabbit. Is this the one we just looked at? Uh, yeah, this is, that's the one we just looked at. Are these guys... No, he's up again. Okay, so that probably was him. He just needed to hunt because he was getting hungry. Let's keep putting some of the sagebrush in. There we go. There's got to be spots here. Yeah, there's spots there. How are the peccaries? They are... 6 out of 30. How many did they spawn in with? Probably close to that. I don't know. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 look at this, look at this here, look at that, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. Is he running away? Is his health okay? His hunger's okay. Wow, that was dramatic. That was very dramatic. That, that coyote just, just killed a peccary. And then out of nowhere, a bobcat... Well, the bobcat was right there, I guess. But the bobcat chased him all the way down and stole his food. Wow! That got pretty dramatic and pretty intense. Sometimes this game has really cool stuff if you just are in the right place at the right time. There can be some really awesome things that happen. A lot of the sagebrush is flowering as well, which is nice. So, let's make sure we add some more. I guess that means some of the sagebrush will flower at different times then. Let's see. Here. Wow, those jackrabbits are still eating everything. Hopefully the coyotes will come after some of them as well. Um, yeah, okay. Oh no, they've started flowering as well. It just takes a moment. But if we watch, I'm pretty sure they're starting to flower. Yep, see, one of them just went. And there goes another. Yeah, they do start to flower. So they flower at a certain point in the game cycle and not based off when they were placed. What's with these? Oh, it's babies! So they do regrow. They do spread. Oh, dear. I don't know how we're going to protect those peccaries. We need to protect them somehow. Did they go back here? There. There. Hmm. I think I might put another population in and hopefully that won't be a problem. But these guys are down to three already. So let's see. How many are here? There's 66 juveniles! Good gracious! I didn't know there could be that many. Holy moly. Okay, 12. 12 is better than what we had before. I think the highest we've ever gotten is 13. 
And uh, so there's a nice close-up look at our peccaries. Um, if we can get in close. I, I like uh, taking screenshots to get rid of the interface sometimes so that you guys can see better. Oop, we need to make sure we get up there. There we go. Is that... That's a coyote. Oh, is he hunting? He's hunting one of the jackrabbits! Yay! And there are bobcats here as well. So, let's take a look. That's a dead jackrabbit. There's bobcats. It's really cool to see everything uh, going on in here. Look at the mule deer sleeping amidst the plants here. Is there... There is a population of jackrabbits there. I think we may be okay. If we can get all this settled, I think we may be okay. A lot of these guys are low population. It's mostly just this one that has an insane amount of jackrabbits. And then there are peccaries, and then we have another population we added in over here. Uh, but these peccaries are down to three, and they don't reproduce very fast. So the coyotes, there's only one juvenile, it looks like. A lot of the juveniles may have died off. I don't know. But that looks like, because there's only two per pack, it looks like they'll split off if there's even one. So that'll be kind of interesting. Here, speaking of, is this, this is an adult, okay. I wonder if they die of old age if they make it that far. Uh oh, oh, he's taking that. I was a little concerned he was gonna go after that baby bobcat. They're quite pretty, really. I, re I really like the design, like the coloration. They use some very, very pretty colors. Coyotes are actually really cool too. Uh, they, a lot of the time they get a very bad rap, and um, especially in light of most people will look at wolves and overlook the coyote, but coyotes are pretty stinking cool as well. They're just not quite as well known and quite, not quite as well understood. And even wolves are quite misunderstood still. Uh, people kind of went from hating them to a little bit of idolizing them in recent years. Uh, they've become kind of a phenomenon and have really been sensationalized lately. Which is not necessarily good as well. It's also perpetuated a lot of, um, a lot of old science like the Alpha Beta Omega ranking system that is, has since been outdated. So it's kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, we gotta be careful not to, um, not to just, not to, but in both ways, not to, um, not to give a species a bad rap just for being predators, but also not to idolize them, because when it comes down to it, they are still animals. They're still gonna do what animals do, and we can't, we've gotta be careful not to, like, give them an excessively, not to excessively humanize them, because that's what I see a lot of. And uh, to an extent, even in our series, we do personify a lot of our animals a little bit. But it's a... Uh, I try to state when we're doing that. What is out here? Huh. That's interesting. It looks like we're on a barren planet or something. It's kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway, I think we'll probably actually go ahead. We already have 74 coins again, which is good. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, ooh, more income. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.